Abdurrahman Amalek Aame lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about binary operators and basically we had several videos whereby we talked about arithmetic operators, relational operators, bitwise operators, and the last one was assignment operator. And today we are going to finish up all the three types of C operators, that is urinary operators, binary operators, and today we are finishing up with the third one, which is ternary operator. In a ternary operator, we are going to take ourselves into a journey to define what is a ternary operator, what is the syntax of a ternary operator, and how we are going to implement ternary operator. So, basically, when you are talking about a ternary operator, it has got only one type of an operator, and uh, that basically it is what we call conditional operator. So conditional operator, it is uh, what we call uh, an operator that works on to three operands. So it works on to three operands as its name suggests. And basically, it is represented by two types of symbols. Symbol number one, it is what you call a, a question mark, which means a condition. And uh, another one is what you call up a full colon, which separates two expressions. So that takes us into our second part whereby we want to know what is the syntax. So the syntax of the conditional operator basically it takes up a, a condition and then put up a question mark and then put up an expression one separated by semicolon and then an expression two. So one, if the condition is true, then it executes the first expression. If the condition is false, then it executes the second expression. So basically, <clears throat> this is the syntax, how it is done. So let's see how we can implement and interpret this particular syntax. For example, we want to check two numbers and see which one it is the highest. So we are checking two numbers and find out which one it is the greatest. So how can we write an algorithm about it? The first thing we have to initialize two numbers, let's say num1 and num2. The second part of it, we have to capture num1 and num2. And then after capturing num1 and cap2, now we have to use up the condition operator. If num1 is greater than num2, then what do you do? You print it is greater. Else, you print it is small. So basically, and then number four, you're going to end. Let's see this particular algorithm if actually we can do it in Dev C++ and see what happens. <clears throat> so let's follow our algorithm. So the first thing we have to initialize two numbers, that will be num1 and num2. And then what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to capture num1 and num2, so we are putting up a printf, 
and we are telling up the user we are telling up what the user to enter two numbers so basically we are telling up the user enter two numbers enter two numbers to find the largest so somebody will have to enter two numbers to find up the largest so the second uh, the third part of it what do we suppose we are supposed to capture num1 and num2 so we are using up a scan f to capture num1 and num2 so basically we have to put up a, a format specifier so percentage d and then another percentage d to capture to capture what the address so we are capturing the address of num1 and the address of num2 so basically we have captured the two num1 and num2 and then according to an algorithm we are supposed to use what we are supposed to use a conditional operator uh, to see how to check which one is bigger than the other so uh, basically here we are going to say num1 so this is the condition if num1 is greater than uh, num2 then we are putting up our symbol which is a, a question mark then what are we saying we are putting up a simple question mark then you put up an expression so our expression will be what we are saying we're going to do a print f and a print f what are we supposed to say we are supposed to say that uh, uh, that if the first number so if the first number if the first number if the first number is larger okay if the first number it is it is larger because we are supposed to check uh, which one is larger so if the first one if the first number it first number is larger so first number is larger so here we have our first number which is larger and uh, uh, basically so uh, our first number is larger so we are putting up uh, our format specifier and then here you are supposed to put up num1 so that is the first expression the second expression must be separated by what by a full colon and then here basically we are saying what if the second number now basically we can just take this copy it and put it here and now if the second number it is larger so here we'll have up our second number our second number is larger we are putting up our num2 not num1 here it will be our num our num2 so that will be num2 and we terminate and we terminate so basically this will be a pro, uh, our program and let's run it and see what will happen to it so let's run our program so here actually it is print f not not that one so basically we are saying it is actually print f so we have got that particular error now our program runs and tells us to enter two numbers so you can see here we are told to enter two numbers so we are entering 40 and we are entering 50 and then let's see what happens so here the answer comes your second number is the largest which is 50. so basically that is how we have demonstrate using up the conditional operator so uh, we come to the end of this particular session and don't forget to subscribe for more and new videos and in our next uh, video we are going to talk about uh, uh, basically the function thank you very much for listening